Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagabra Backpacking, and today I'm out to talk about a new product. Something that just hit the market that is uh, kind of a game changer when it comes to ultralight and hammock camping. And uh, of course it came from, from Dutchwear gear. And, and Dutch came up with this, and so this is what we're gonna talk about today. So I've got this hammock, let me get this hammock hung up and we will talk about it and why it's significant and how it changes things. So let's get this thing strung up, let's go. So what I'm in right now is a single layer netless hammock with a ridgeline from Dutchwear gear. And it's comfortable. It's, it's super lightweight and it's, it's comfortable Let's see, it's got, it's got quite a bit of support for what this is. I mean, it, it really isn't, doesn't feel stretchy. It feels like it has a lot more support than you would expect from what it is. But what is it? Let's talk about that. All right, so what this is and why I'm here talking to you about it, why I think it's game changing is the weight of this fabric. So this fabric is a new fabric. It is a double ripstop monofilament material that uh, the Dutchwear Gear has created and they're calling it Cloud 71. And as you can see, it's see-through. So a lot like the, uh, the other one that I've used out there, this one is, is see-through, super lightweight, kind of a cool material. Uh, definitely isn't stopping a lot of the wind for sure but that's why you have under quilts, top quilts, under quilt protectors, whatever it is that you use while you're out there is to keep the wind and stuff off of you. But this is such a lightweight fabric. So you've got Monolite 1.0 that, that's kind of been the, the king of weight to, uh, to strength ratio. Um, but this one kind of takes it to a, a different level and goes somewhere that I don't think anyone has has expected things to go. So for a while, there, there were a, quite a few 1.0s out there. You know, you've got Hyper D, you've got the Monolite. There were some others that were out there before that actually people have gone away from. I know that at one point, uh, some companies were using a 1.0. They went away from it. Some people refuse to use a 1.0 because it's just so light and they're worried about the strength and standing behind the products that they make with it. But this one kind of takes it to a different level, a completely different level. So you may have guessed from the name Cloud 71 that this material is 0.71 ounces per square yard. That's quite a bit lighter than the light, that's 29% lighter than the current lightest fabric that you can make a hammock out of. But what, what are you giving up for that? So Dutchwear Gear puts the weight rating, the strength rating of this 0.71 fabric at an astounding 220 pounds. So 220 pounds, you can lay in this, not expect it to rip and be just, just fine. Uh, like I said, the comfort of it, it is surprisingly supportive it's surprisingly firm but compliant it's not it's not uncomfortable it's not the fabric is uh it isn't soft but it isn't it isn't harsh at any in any way it's a little bit more plasticky uh than than fabricy but it works um surprisingly surprisingly well all right so it's a little bit chilly out here so i went ahead and threw the uh the under quilt on here because i'm gonna lounge out here for a little while and really enjoy this i was supposed to be out this weekend for a backpacking trip with my youngest son but the weather kind of turned where we were headed and we were going to be doing some adventuring not following a trail doing some off route you know route finding using a map and compass and, and gps and it's over a lot of really, really rocky, rough terrain, and I did not want to risk it. People get rescued out where we were going all the time, and I didn't want to be one of those people. Uh, so we made the smart decision, stayed home this weekend. And so I'm just getting some time in this thing and, and really enjoying it. Um, 
So let's talk about what you can expect for weight of a full hammock. So this fabric allows a whole new level of lightweight hammocks that, that can be created. So this one that I'm sitting in right now is a sub five ounce netless hammock. It's 4.83, 141 grams with the little mesh stuff sack it comes with, 137 just for the hammock body with the ridge line and the continuous loops at the end. So extremely lightweight, extremely lightweight. Um, so for a winter option, this is totally an option you could go with. If you don't use an overcover, if you don't use anything, uh, you don't need a bug net when it's cold out, when the bugs aren't out. So you can go totally with something like this, nice warm setup on top of you, a, uh, a tarp pulled down nice and low to keep the, the heat in, especially one with doors, kind of keep it enclosed a little bit. Uh, and this is a, a really, really good option for those types of days, those types of trips where you're out and it's cold. Uh, you know, you're carrying a lot of weight on those winter trips with the insulation that you're carrying, with the extra food, with the extra fuel. Um, and so being able to cut down the weight a little bit really does make a lot of sense. Now, there are other applications. It doesn't have to be a netless hammock. I, I do know that Dutch has made a chameleon out of this. I haven't seen it. Would have loved to have tested that one out. Uh, but I believe the only other manufacturer right now that is using this Cloud 71 material or has been given permission to use this material is Trailheads. And you guys know I have the Wraith and really like that. Well, they have come out with their own new design. It's kind of based off of the Wraith and it's their new super ultra light one. I believe that they just unveiled it down at Hancon and that is called the Poltergeist. And the Poltergeist weighs in at about five and a half ounces. Uh, something like 5.6 to 5.8 ounces is what I believe they're running at. And that is for a fully bug netted hammock. I mean, that, that's a fully enclosed hammock is getting you really really low at five and a half ounces uh, so just under five ounces for a netless five and a half for a fully enclosed one so i mean think about it that is that is pretty impressive that's both of these are 11 foot hammocks both the, the poltergeist being 11 foot and this netless one being 11 foot uh you're not sacrificing on any comfort the width is there and it, it lays actually really really nice and uh yeah, it's a good, so far, so good. Uh, I will keep using this and I'll, I'll report back any problems I have uh, long term, how I like it. But first look at it. This is definitely a viable option to keep moving forward with reducing weight. And really, you know, there's always that argument, are tents or hammocks lighter? Well, as we keep finding ways to, uh, uh, or not we, you know, I'm, I'm saying we as part of the community, but as the community, as the vendors out there, keep diving deeper into finding ultralight solutions, that gap narrows and narrows to the point where it's really not a discussion on which one is lighter. You can find pieces on either side to make your, your setup as light as possible. Um, and, and they're so, uh, the margins are so razor thin at this point that you can go super ultralight regardless of whether you're a tent camper or a hammock camper, but this just helps build the uh, build the argument that hammock camping is there. All right, guys, hope you guys learned something from this. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. As always, if you haven't done so before, please hit that subscribe button. Right next to it, there'll be a little bell icon. If you hit that, you will get notifications every time I upload a video. Welcome to 2021. I am, I am really happy, uh, looking forward to great things this year new materials new fabrics new experiences new adventures let's keep it going i will see you guys down the trail